My hair is looking a little crazy. I need to um, brush it. But I am just getting my makeup on right now. I'm in the middle of my Merit, my Merit bronzer. And we had such a fun. <laughs> this is like clockwork. I sit over here and Henley's like, yes, please. Um, Christmas is not over in this household. I still got my Christmas tree cups. But um, you want some bronzer? You ready? Let me put on your face. Boop, boop, boop. Let's contour the chin. Let's contour the nose. Even though you're, you have a very strong nose, you don't need much. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. How about your cheeks? Oh, we like the cheekbone. I swear she likes putting makeup on when I do. She feels like left out if I don't. We had Christmas, let's see, Tuesday we had our like Christmas since the game was on Monday, which we unfortunately lost, so it sucks, but um, we had our actual Christmas where we opened presents on Tuesday, and um, it was really fun. We made a spicy vodka pasta with garlic bread for dinner and some salad and had wine. It was really, really yummy. I'm really trying to make a tradition actually. Um, we've done it the last few years where we make spicy vodka pasta like with Ital hot Italian sausage. The, what I've done in the past is Christmas Eve, but at this time obviously we did it like on our Christmas. But just Christmas or Christmas Eve, I love making that recipe. Um, and it's a really fun tradition that we've kind of started. So that was really yummy. And uh, Ross actually got me. Well, first we rewrapped a box for the MacBook Pro because <laughs> that was a Christmas gift, mostly to me, but to us. And it was a big, 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 big gift. So I really wasn't expecting anything. I was kind of like, I had kind of hinted to Ross, like maybe I would like love the Dyson Airwrap. I feel like it would be really helpful for my long hair and it would make me like do my hair more. And I was kind of doubtful though, because we got the MacBook Pro around that time and he ended up getting me the Dyson. So I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna try it for the first time today. I am going to a brunch right now. I feel like a, a Housewives of the Bay Area. Going to brunch on a, on a weekday late morning, but I'm off all this week, so I'm living my best housewife life right now. And I might try to style my new shoes. I got, we, my family did a Secret Santa, and my sister had me, and I had asked for these uh, Sambas, no wait, gazelles, Adidas gazelle. And they are um, like an emerald green color and they're really pretty. So I'm gonna try and style those. So I'm actually really excited for the Dyson cause I feel like it plays into the low maintenance since you can kind of dry your hair and have it have a little curl at the same time. So I'm hoping it plays into like my laziness. But yeah, I'm kind of just Living my best PTO life. Thanks for being here. Let's get into it. Somebody, I ain't everybody, I ain't everyone. Like a future, I, don't. I just have to say, I tried the Dyson for the first time today and I didn't do anything for any crazy uh, styling, but I did use the round brush a little bit just to give my ends like the tiniest little like and spoiler alert, I really love it. I feel like even just the drying attachment is so elite. Let's take the styling aspect out of it. Even just the dryer is like so elite. It's quiet, it's so easy to use. And my hair gets, like with a normal hair dryer where it's kind of blowing the hair everywhere, my hair gets really ratted and kind of like 
sticky and it sticks together in knots when I apply heat to it. When it's still like midway, not all the way wet, not all the way dry. And so I feel like having the brush so I can brush through while it's drying is like such a game changer because it, it like tames it as it dries it. So it just feels like I'm brushing my hair. So really like it so far. Is my last day of New Year's Christmas break and I slept in but um, I wanted to show I finally got these blue bottle coffee beans to try and I got the Hayes Valley espresso blend so I'm excited to give it a whirl it, these were roasted on the 22nd that's what they say is you always buy beans that have the roasted date not like packaged or any other date you want to see the roasted date so check. I've heard good things, so I'm really excited to try. And I was going, I have Pilates at one today, so I'm getting back into the workout grind. I really feel like um, I always drag my feet a little bit after the holidays, getting back into the routine. Cause I'm always like, oh God, here we go. You know, like there's always like a little bit of dread of like getting back into my fitness grind. Happy Friday. I go back to work on Monday, so time to soak up this weekend as much as I can. She loves this. She's hamming it up. Ross loves his new <laughs> leather backpack so much that he put his jacket over his backpack because it's raining outside and he doesn't want it to get wet. Let's see his side profile. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do it today but I just told myself like I would feel way better after and I ended up taking Henley on a walk outside and then ran just a couple miles on the treadmill and did some stretching just now which felt amazing I swear I cannot do a walk or a run these days without some sort of mini stretching routine after <laughs> it's getting out of hand the creaks and cracks of my almost 30 year old body are getting out of hand. But tonight I'm really excited because I think we're gonna try a new recipe and I'm kind of winging it. Um, so I looked up this recipe online for shredded Brussels sprout salad. And um, basically I'm just gonna make a few tweaks and do my own thing. Like for example, the recipe called for, the recipe called for dried cranberries, but, um, every cranberry I could find had like 30 grams added sugar per serving. <laughs> so I was like, screw it, I'll just do pomegranate seeds. 
and um, I'm gonna do shredded Brussels, shredded kale, pomegranate seeds, lemon juice, Parmesan. It's gonna be really good. I think some shallot. So we're kinda just gonna wing it. And then we're gonna also do chicken sausage and some white rice. So just pretty simple. I think Sophie actually coined this term, or at least I feel like she did. Um, it's called the three plop dinner. <laughs> so you have like, traditionally it's like meat, veggie, carb, three plops. Um, so we're gonna do chicken sausage, the salad obviously, and then rice as our carb. And I'm gonna make, you already know, I'm gonna make a Shirley Temple. So let's get showered and then make a yummy healthy dinner. This is like, we're on the health train post holidays. And um, I think we're gonna watch a movie tonight, which will be fun. So we haven't picked it out yet and everyone wish, wish us luck because I feel like every time we try to watch a movie together, we spend half an hour picking it out and then sometimes don't even end up watching a movie because it's too late and then we <laughs> watch some like show. Does that happen to anyone else? <sighs> oh my gosh. Anyway, all right, let's get showered. position there's no closer spot to the drop zone for a chicken yeah, sausage than right here <laughs> she just stares at the floor and waits for anything to come down look at her she's staring at the floor <laughs> she literally won't look up she's waiting for meatballs to fall from the sky the curling barrel for the first time and it's definitely like you know a learning process but I'm just loving the experience thus far so I just sectioned my hair off and let's see how it goes I can't really judge it until I really do like my full hair and then we'll see the occasion there ain't none all right well I guess the occasion is it is New Year's Eve and we're staying in tonight and we're not staying up till midnight because Ross needs his beauty rest aka he needs to recover as much as possible and so I think we're going to make some steaks at home which I'm actually looking forward to some filet mignon and mashed potatoes and yummy salad I think we're just gonna watch the ball drop on the East Coast and go to bed. So this is all just for fun slash, you know, making me feel good about myself. Gave it some oomph especially since we're staying in tonight. I really have a no. But yeah, I really, it's just a really fun experience and it's pretty effortless. Like there's not a ton of, I like when you turn it off 
to pull your hair out. You're not like pulling, you know, with like a normal curler. Sometimes you're like pulling your hair out with the curler because one, one gets stuck somewhere it shouldn't be. And then you're like pulling your hairs out with the curler. It was nice that I could turn it on and off. And then I really like the cool shot feature because I feel like that is going to be what really sets the curls too. And of course, obviously like hairspray as well. And I probably could have done the cool shot feature longer. Like I really could have taken my time more, but I feel like for not taking my time and just kind of like, again, I haven't really watched videos, so I don't know how to section my hair properly. But for all of that being said, I think it looks pretty decent. I'm just gonna put a little bit of makeup on. I know I said I have no plans tonight, but I just like wanna feel kinda cute since it's New Year's Eve and it'll be a fun night in. I'm excited to have a little dinner, but I wanted to vlog right now because I got a couple new products at Sephora that I'm dying to try. Maybe that's also why I'm getting cute because I'm like need an excuse to try my new stuff that I bought. So. I just feel like my hair looks so much better, even though it's like not technically curled with like the Dyson look. It just looks elevated. First thing I got, finally, these puffs, these under eye sponges to use instead of beauty blender because hot take, I don't love my beauty blender. And I wanted a way to set my under eye and I finally tried these like, or I'm about to try these. Also, I got a Merit blush one of their cream blushes. I'm really excited to try. It is the cheeky color, which is a beautiful like mauve pink. And I'm real excited for that. And then I also got a new concealer because I didn't love mine. I was in Sephora and NARS is just a tried and true. Here's the thing. I don't know if I got the right color. So TBD on that, but we're gonna try that today and then we're gonna try and set it with my new triangle puffer. But everything else is the same. I'm gonna do my, the huge, the huge Merit bronzer. And I should probably put my hair in a clip because I don't wanna keep doing this. Okay, hold on. We're back. going to try the highly anticipated. Ooh. I don't know how much to do because I don't know how pigmented this is, but if it's anything like the bronzer, it's not super pigmented. I'm loving the color already. Ooh. And it's very balmy like the bronzer, like very much almost like you could, oh, you know what? Let's just do that. And I can wear it on my lips too. Wow. Let's put some on my nose if there's any left. Love. So good. Ooh, I'm into this blush, wow. And it kind of shows up a little bit lighter than how it looks on here. I just love the color. It's a little bit more mauve-y. Perf. Great purchase. Now I'm going to try, do I have a, oh, I have an eyelash. Now I'm gonna try the new concealer that I got, which is the Radiant Cream Concealer. blended I'm gonna set it now I'm gonna try putting this so cute by the way putting this into my pressed setting powder from Urban Decay all-nighter waterproof setting powder I'll tell you what I like my under eyes better now than I did with yes. my last concealer so that's good news guess what we got the number one seed. So the 49ers won today. 
the Eagles lost today, meaning that we have clinched the number one seed, meaning we get a bye the first round of playoffs. A whole other bye week is huge in the world of football. And we also get all home playoff games for however far we go. So exciting, such a relief. Wow, I'm shook. This weekend game wise went so perfectly for the 49ers. Like we couldn't have drawn it better. The Lions lost, Eagles lost, we won. Boom, signed, sealed, delivered. The last time that we were the number one seed in the NFC was when we went to the Super Bowl in 2019. So this is very exciting stuff. And Ross and I are gonna make a really yummy dinner. We're making filet, mashed potatoes, and the kale Brussels salad I made last night because it was so good. I'll try to actually pay attention more today of like what I put into it so I can put a recipe up. And we'll probably drink a glass of red wine. We're gonna celebrate New Year's with the East Coast and just like watch the ball drop and then go to bed. It's gonna be very pure tonight. Um, oh, and we'll probably watch a movie. Also, we started a movie last night that I like have to rave about really quick. It's called Burnt and it has Bradley Cooper. I think it came out in 2015. It is so good. Like Ross and I are freaking out how good this movie is. We have about 20 minutes left, so we need to finish it tonight. But thus far it has been so, so good. I forget who told us to watch it, but we've just loved it. And I cannot believe I haven't seen it before. It's so good. It's like a drama, but also has some comedy. It's giving the bear the cooking show, but like a little less chaotic. Cause if you've seen the bear, it really gets like super chaos vibes. Um, so it's a little bit less crazy than that. But yeah, we're gonna start cooking and celebrating and ringing in 2024 as the number one seed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Number one seed, number one seed. Ross is doing some rehab. I'm gonna start the potatoes. You know what? I'm gonna text Liz and ask her which one we should drink because she left both of these here. Yeah. I'm sure they're both fantastic. Yeah. Liz hooks it up with the wine. She always has the best bottles that she so casually brings over. She's like, I hope this is okay. We're like, trust me, whatever you've got is 10 times better than what we're working with. Which one should we do tonight? Making filet. Cheese board time, you already know. I like can't cook without having a cheese board. We got some truffle gouda and some sharp cheddar. Yeah. Michelin star, you know, you know, we had some red wine and now I'm having an LMNT with, Mag we're, we're both having mm -hmm. an LMNT with magnesium. 
but yeah, we're just picking out a movie. And I think we're gonna watch the ball drop at nine, right? On the East Coast. I think so. And I think I might end the vlog off here. Take Otherwise, him. nah, too <laughs> real. Happy 20, almost 2024. 2023 will always be known as the year we got married and we can't wait for what's in store. Peace.